డాక్టర్ గారు కొంతమంది జంక్ ఫుడ్కి బాగా అలవాటు పడి వారి హెల్త్ని డ్యామేజ్ చేసుకుంటుంటారు అలాంటి వారు ఎలాంటి న్యూట్రిషనల్ డైట్ తీసుకుంటే వారి ఇమ్యూన్ సిస్టమ్ బాగుంటుంది కాస్త తెలపండి సో ఇమ్యూన్ సిస్టమ్ హెల్తీగా ఉండాలంటే ప్రోటీన్ ఇస్ వన్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ న్యూట్రియంట్ అపార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ దాట్ ఆల్ ద మైక్రో న్యూట్రియంట్స్ దట్ ఐ వాజ్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ so before you decide is my immune system healthy or not you need to get your blood test done wherein you check all the micronutrients and you also check your kidney profile and your liver profile because the kidney and the liver are the two things that are metabolizing protein and metabolizing fat so both of them have to be healthy make sure that your immune system is also healthy so chaala mandi chestaru kada detox diets adi idi ani chestu untaru so um, you know to build your immunity it's as simple as two fruits in a day or instead of fruit like i said dry fruits um, and in one at one time and fresh fruits at another time and um, uh, making sure the healthy fat that i was talking about kada not completely cutting down on the fat that you're eating ha- making sure some amount of healthy fat is coming in in terms of ghee cold pressed oils um, using a little bit of coconut in your food ilanti uh, you know you use these small little little tricks and traits to improve on your immunity and making sure that your vegetables are not overcooked okay um usually in uh, andhra or uh, telangana there's a lot of frying that happens in terms of vegetables <laughs> so um, what i would suggest is rot pachdi is definitely a good option to have and it's a good thing that is there in our diets actually so whoever doesn't like salads i usually tell them roze oka rot pachadi chesi pettukondi so whenever you are eating idli dosa also you don't have to only have pallil chutney coconut chutney adi kaakunda your vegetable chutneys kuda use cheskochu the fiber intake increases and therefore your digestion improves and therefore your immunity will also be good enta gut health baaguntundo anta mee immunity kuda baaguntundi so to improve your gut health taking curd or any fermented food will be very very helpful and the key that you know our indian way of eating is is really good and matter because at the end of the meal there is always a, a curd that you will be having there are some of us who don't like curd we can make it into buttermilk or majjik char kani ala kuda cheskochu and uh, of course heating uh, does change the uh, back tira content of the curd so ideally you should take it as such like as soon as the curd is formed you can take it as such or you can take it as majjiga so many other options have come now kombucha antaru i'm i'm sure you would have seen yes. it in the supermarkets they are available in bottles yes. these are all made with the kind of bacteria that is called the good bacteria necessary for your gut health mm-hmm. so entha varaku gut health ba untundo antha varaku mi immunity strong untundi so this is an important uh, thing to always remember and the minute you see acidity form outundi bloating gas issues unnayante it is a sure shot sign that your gut bacteria needs to needs help either you know you must have just gone through an infection so put antibiotics teeskuntam ani chaala mandi ippudu they don't even consult a doctor they are just directly taking antibiotics so all that destroys the good bacteria also in your gut so you have to follow it up with some amount of multivitamin or some um, you know um, b-complex. Uh, no, b-complex vitamins or even these uh, uh, fermented foods like so you have kombucha you have uh, um yakult is one of it or you can even do uh edi curd just made at home even our idli dosa batters are also fermented pickles made at home can also be taken koncham spice takku unnam unnavi ekku spice unte it is again going to hurt your digestive system so the pickles that we usually make actually the traditional thing is summer lo pattam gani winter lo dentam because during winter is when you have all these uh, uh, you know different kind of organisms attacking you with cold fever alanti and all season changes lo vastai so you actually you uh, 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 ఆవకాయ పచ్చడి కానీ ఏమైనా పచ్చడి చేస్తే ఇట్స్ యూజువలీ మేడ్ ఇన్ ద సమ్మర్ బికాస్ ఆ టైంలో ఎక్కువ సప్లై ఉంటుంది ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ది ఇంగ్రీడియంట్స్ బట్ ఇట్స్ యూజువలీ యూజ్డ్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద వింటర్ సో అంత ప్రిజర్వ్ చేసి అది వింటర్లో యూజ్ చేయాలి సో దట్ ఈస్ ద ట్రెడిషనల్ వే యాక్చువల్లీ ఆఫ్ యూజింగ్ ఇట్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ స్టికింగ్ టు పోర్షన్ సైజెస్ కదా ఈవెన్ పిక్కల్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ బ్యాడ్ అన్లెస్ యూ హ్యావ్ అ వెరీ బ్యాడ్ అంటే చాలా హై బీపీ ఉన్న వాళ్ళకి వీ యూజువలీ సజెస్ట్ నో బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద preservatives that will be there in the pickle it's salt based kada malli so other than for them everybody else small quantities of pickle will definitely improve your uh, gut health just keep the spice level low 